What are you going on guys, Brown here and welcome back to the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode here today for the American Grand Prix you see here the R&D and we have had a regulation change for next season and it's going to be on the durability side which a little bit dull, it could have been anything else but it's kind of handy because it's the least one that I've, that we've put development into so it's easy to savour the parts um, and we haven't had too bad reliability which have been working on the rest of the car the chassis, the aero, the engine into qualifying now for the Grand Prix and America is a very good track um, one of the stronger tracks but the car it just it was struggling struggling quite a bit in fact <coughs> struggling quite a bit as you can see here rounds the final corner cuts it in P19 we stay P19 but as we skip on to the final part of the session you can see here we have one more um one more soft tire available to us fresh soft tires but when we go back out on track there is rain in the air but the lap was so bad that we managed to find a bit of time in the first two sectors but the weather is so bad it's not too bad but struggling and you can see here that when we get to the end towards the end of the lap there's, there's just no grip we're skating everywhere and we can't really push because we're probably putting in the barrier so whereas we've had two personal best sectors it's not gonna be any good because of the rain a bit annoying so we are going to get knocked out in Q1 could not improve pretty much for that final sector so we will start the race in 19th place let's get into it welcome once again then to the united states grand prix here in the magnificent city of austin it was here in 2018 that kimi raikkonen delighted the world by winning for the first time in 114 races there's always a record to be broken so what i wonder is in store for us today we're racing today then in travis county texas around the 20 corners of the wonderful circuit of the americas we'll be reaching speeds of around 200 miles an hour and there are plenty of good opportunities to pass especially through the two drs zones into turn one and the very long back straight into turn 12. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's begin by talking about Antonio Giovinazzi. As ever, the threat of unreliability is never far away, and indeed, they'll be starting out of position today due to a power unit component change. So it's going to be a difficult task to move forward from there. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Sergio Perez and Ricardo, Stroll, Sainz, Norris and Pierre Gasly, Verstappen, Grosjean, Alexander Albon and Kvyat, Raikkonen, Magnussen, Esteban Ocon and Brown. Giovinazzi, they've taken a grid penalty. Russell, Ireland and Nicholas Latifi. And now it's time to head down to the track. Wow, we've been promoted one position up to P18 because of Giovinazzi taking a grid place penalty. In the, in the race, there is a chance for rain right at the end. We're going to start on the mediums and let's see what we can do into turn one. It's lights out and away we go and we have got a good start. We've turned the overtake but enough Magnussen trying to squeeze us right to the inside. And we're going to absolutely dive bomb it 
all the way down the inside of the turn one. Slight contact, and now we're side by side with Lando Norris, Carlos Sainz, rather, and skipping on around the rest of the lap. Sainz is gone, and we're now coming under pressure from Kevin Magnussen. Tried to do the switch back on him, that was not going to work. So we are slipping down. We got into P10, which is it is decent. Bear in mind, beside P19, we're going to take a very tight line and sneak back up the inside of Kevin Magnussen. Slight contact with him there somehow. We got a warning. Not really too sure how. We were kind of we were a fair bit in front of him, but that's that's what's good about about Kota the fact you can take different lines especially at that corner because the line is so wide you can sneak up the inside but now we're going to be left defending the Danish driver into turns one we're going to try and push him wide and we do and he's going to have to wait for another lap right we have a very worn out MG charge speed is suffering and if it gets much worse we could be forced to retire well, that's good to hear Jeff that's why we're struggling so much but look at that there it's on 57 percent it's not even that bad Jeff is making out that it's on like 70 80 percent it's not that bad as magazine goes down or inside and we make a massive mistake and nearly going to gravel, we've gone that wide, and now we're coming under pressure from Alex Albon and the tie driver with in real life is future uncertain at Red Bull. We've gone wide again, and now at the ins around the outside, tries Albon. We've got, I'm not. Sorry, that's Max Verstappen who got past us. Albon is behind us. And now Albon is going to get past us. There is the tyre driver. Max, on what happened? I'm not too sure what happened to Red Bull then. If they're both outside the top 10, they must have been caught out with the rain or something. In Q2, possibly, or even in Q1, in fact. Just like we did. It's down the inside goes Daniel Kvyat in the Alpha Tauri and we are literally dropping like an absolute stone everyone around us on the soft tyres and I thought we could try and go along on the mediums but it doesn't seem to be working as on to lap 5 same thing here comes Lando we try and defend him to the inside Lando actually locks up Goes a little bit wider, but that doesn't stop him from getting past us. We are dropping quicker than a stone. And there's nothing I can do. The car, so, so bad. Should have probably increased his speed um, in the setup. We just went balanced. But the tyres aren't helping. And we're just so slow. On these medium compound tyres, we go wide and Kimmy slips through now. And it's, it's getting a bit ridiculous now. This happens every single round. What a surprise. Here comes Ocon. It's not even worth commentating on at this point because you're seeing what is happening. We're just getting done every single lap. And after what, seven laps? We've gone backwards even more down into P17 as up the inside comes Kevin Magnussen. So he must have pitted, or it was Kevin Magnussen at the start, I'm pretty sure. So not sure what's happened to him. We go for the S section, understeering like an absolute boat. As so we have our first retirement of the race. And this is. This is painful to watch. Here comes Magnussen and his past. We had such a good start. I'm, I feel like I'm pretty good at starts. Obviously, we 
had the biggest dive bomb you've ever seen into term one and i feel like that happens at most grand prix china good example we got a good start and then in that race we were slowly going backwards and then this to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now so the rain is coming we just about thought of Giovinazzi but the rain is coming Giovinazzi got past us we're going to try and go back down his inside before about it and with we scared ourselves out of that one and on lap 12 we finally got a break from being overtaken left right and centre down that back straight and we're going to come into the pits and we're going to go onto the soft tyres which looking back on this I don't really know why because we could have just gone on the hards and waited and waited to see how far the rain was going to come how long it was going to take to get here because you can see the see the sky at the minute is still pretty much blue skies very light clouds so I'm sort of 15 laps to go you can't really see it if it is going to rain it rain that much but now how the tables have turned we have so much pace everyone in front of us even the hard or the mediums and now we're enjoying this down the inside finally we're on the opposite end of overtaking we haven't got to defend anymore up the road of Giovinazzi and now through the S section maybe down the inside but there's not really much point overtaking there because of this massive straight and this time it's dead again swamped we are doing the swamping we're closing up to the back of Giovinazzi we're going to go down to the inside we're going to swap Giovinazzi the absolute dummy wait for him to go wide try and sneak up the inside and then do it again into the next corner and we've done it swapped in the dummy twice it didn't work the first time Giovinazzi on the hard tyres not really too sure why but then I was just said but he pitted a long while before us so we'll see what it might work it might not for him as so we are on the back of Lando Norris we're going to go down the inside in to that final corner and you can see the sky now in a matter of what four laps it has gone very cloudy and it does look like the rain is coming very quickly in this race we're on the back of George Russell who in real life deserves a Mercedes seat this, he might be able to get it in this career mode you never know I'd, I'd definitely like to see that as we go down the inside of him I was saying two minutes ago it's not much point overtaking into that corner but not not George is driving but that Williams is really slow we don't think it's going to stay dry for much longer the rain could come at any moment watch out dry seem like the best tyre for now it is slowly getting darker and darker and Jeff I don't normally listen to him but when it comes to conditions like this I do and you can see here on lap 20 the rain is here Jeff wants us to pit that's not going to happen but the rain is here and thinking about it going on to the hard we would have been slow so the soft tyres has got us through back through the field and you can see here DRS is disabled on the same lap that the rain started you can see how slippery it is we lost it twice there we've lost out to Norris and we are going to come in now to put on the intermediate tyres for, for the last 8 laps of the Grand Prix it's so slippery out there, so slippery you could see the start, the start of the lap there was, there was a little bit of grip but that final sector was literally dancing on ice what I can imagine Turkey was like a couple of weeks ago and out, out of 
the pit and up towards turn one we've come out in 14th place and we've gone straight on at turn one so that's always good but let's see what we can do now on to lap 21 and you can see how bad the conditions it's got and now here comes Land here comes Lando Norris we he goes wide though up our inside we cut him back up the inside and we keep the position on Lando Norris I feel like I've been battling the McLarens mostly in fact I've been battling everyone haven't I Lewis Hamilton has won the Grand Prix as we skip onto the very final lap we are going to come round the final corner for what in the end is a decent result in P12 after that horrendous start that's the end of the race we'll see you in Park Fermi not just victory today then but the championship as well what a spectacular season they've had congratulations to the whole team Talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes. So that was absolutely incredible that the game crashed. So let's see what we can do then at the start of this race. Look how sunny it is. We're going to just crash into everyone. I mean, it's not really much of a crash. But still, it's better. We didn't get any points, so I'm not going to do the race again. So I just just crashed at the start, retired. Luckily, Lewis still won the Grand Prix. So it... So the result pretty much stays as it was before. But yeah, it's annoying that it um, it crashed. I, that's why I couldn't use any replay cameras. You're probably wondering where they were. I I didn't have them because the game crashed. Which is very annoying. But Lewis Hamilton has won the Grand Prix from Valtteri Bottas and Sebastian Vettel. We obviously finished last, but let's just say we finished 12th. And into the constructors then, into the drivers. It is heating up. Valtteri Bottas can win the title next time out in Mexico. Yes, you did hear me right. Bottas hasn't bottled the championship this time. He's one point. All he needs is two points, actually, because of how his lap. He gets... All he needs is a ninth place finish without Lewis scoring. The, the title can be wrapped up next time in Mexico. Lewis Hamilton being beat to his seventh world title. It's going to be a miracle for Lewis to win it now. He's going to have to win every single race left. Into the R&D. We haven't really got many points to play with because I just... Because of our weekend, you can see where everything, where, where we are and everything. It's been a while since I've showed this. Since it's probably the very first episode of the career mode, so 19 episodes ago. And I've really been, I've really been working on the aero side, because that's where I think we're really weak. The chassis is bad, but I think you can live with, that, with a bad chassis, it's the aero. That we really can that I really want to work on. We're gonna save the other part. And then you can see we're still at second bottom in the in the R and D. 
We are fairly close to Haas in front of us. And you can see how much money we got as I mentioned in the last video. I'm not really wanting to spend much money because I want to get a good driver for next season. Depending also on how Callum is doing as well. But that has been this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you for what could potentially be the title decider in Mexico. Goodbye.